Off, Mammy, you're a star. Keep your strength up. All right. See you later, love. All right. Thanks, Mrs. W. Cheers, Cheers Mrs. Ward. See you later. Good luck. Cheers. You're a lucky man having a wee man like that wardrobe. Don't need to tell me that. You're mad, you're mad. Shame, eh? So what's this move, M wardrobe? You see them new houses on the Lisburn Road? What about them? 10,000 off the first 20 sold. First come, first serve. And we're going to buy four for manual? And what's in this for us? A hundred quid a head. <laughs> All day long. See this cousin of yours, right? Hey, manual? Yes. Hi, what's his crack? Ah, a lot of things for property. That's mostly what he's at. Hey, shrewd enough. Ah, she's a shrewd monkey, lad. See, he buys his apartments, rents them out. Or else he buys his old houses, does them up and then flogs them. He's no mug, like. He knows every trick in the book. So I take it he got the brains of the family? Ah, very good, yeah. The two righties, no mug. He's got four agents queuing up all night long, poured out of their brains just to put down his deposits. But sure, look at the man's getting married. He's got things to do, son. Yeah, so am I. Oh, but there you go. Here, wardrobe. Look at the price of these houses. They're not even half the house your ma's is. How long was your man in that house? Since Jesus was an altar boy. Ah, it's a game to be in. Sure, our Neve bought our house. What? Your Neve? Aye. If you've been a housing executive resident for over 25 years, then you can buy the house off the executive for buttons. All you need is a wee deposit and a mortgage. Did you know that wardrobe? But she only was only 15. How in the name of Christ did she afford a mortgage? She didn't. Would you hear this? She bought it outright. If you could sit at the bottom of that time corner there. Here. There you are. This is number 18. Sit at the bottom of that time corner. Certainly. All right, man. Come on. Number 20. Sit at the bottom there. There you go, boss. Number 22, and at the bottom left hand corner. corner. So that'll be the bottom left hand corner, yeah? Bottom left hand <laughs> corner. Nice one, there we go. Hurry up. Number 18. Oh, come on. Come on. Here, Shay. Here. Could I uh, have a yarn with someone? Well, Mr. Uh, wardrobe, please. Well, Mr. Wardrobe, <clears throat> the prognosis isn't good. You're currently unemployed and. and have. Sorry. And have been since 1992. On the sick. It's very bad. On the subject of acquiring a mortgage with ourselves, I hope you don't mind, but I've run a credit check. And there's some bad credit history. That's that Britannica music shite, and you should have paid it. I think it's a lot more serious than that. There is an outstanding issue of over £3,000 owed to Kay's catalogue. How much are catalogues? Who pays them? A widescreen Toshiba television and VCR on HP that as well. And a subscription to Escort magazine. Yeah, but that's, 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 that, 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 that wasn't for me. That was, uh... All in all, it's the tip of the iceberg. You don't have an active bank account. We have no records of your financial transactions over the past few years. You're not giving me some good news. There is one thing. Your mother has been resident at her current address for the past 42 years. Which means the discount that you could receive on the home against current valuation, you could purchase your home outright for £5,200. And I can't even get a mortgage for that? Not with all these factors. So what are you telling me? Our house, the house that my dad bought for, the house that my ma has kept for 42 years and the house that I was reared in, it's not... Our house. What is it? It's rented. It's what it is. So how do I fix this? Bottom line. You need 5,200. Well, you can now safely say, son, you were once the proud owner of a 150,000 pound house. Aye, eh? for 25 minutes. Exactly. Manuel, gentleman and a scholar. I gotta go to work. I'll see you later. Right, right later, I'll right, see you later, Morgan. Job well done, Wardrobe. <laughs> well, that's one thing you are guaranteed with my squad, son. A job well done. Uh.
Because I was just wondering if you could do me a wee turn. Oh, no, it depends. Well, you see next week? Uh huh. It's my ma's 60th. Right. You remember her, don't you? Your auntie. <laughs> Oh, that's the last of it. Mummy, did you ever think about moving house? Where to? Well, anywhere. You know, even when Daddy was alive. Why would I? Best people in the world in the best place in the world. Oh, lunches. I didn't realise you were putting me on a diet. I booked the Europa. The Europa? And who exactly do you think we are posh and backs? The catering's the best in the town. Well, if there's securities, anything to go by that can keep it. It's the most bombed hotel in the world. It's different times now. Anyway, it's booked. Brilliant! Well, how's things at Dara's? I didn't realise how lucky I was to have you. Ain't that the truth? He's such an old doll, he's doing my head. See, the other day, he didn't speak to me once because I ate his apple. Apparently it was his last apple. <laughs> See, you always think the grass is greener. I hope you realise the sacrifices I'm making. And then, painting walls all day with the three cherries. You don't realise what I have to put up. Could be worse. Could be Spider-Man. Life isn't always exciting, Ta. Things have to be done. Look at him. He's grown so fast. Be a different size by the time we get him a suit. It's all right the way he is. Mm -hmm. Suppose what was left of you, you'd let him go to the biggest day of our life, as he is. There's nothing wrong with him. Unbelievable. You know what this wedding's all about? Money. That's all all weddings are about, Ta. Money. Hold on. Say that to me again. Sort it. I can get you a mortgage. No sweat. And what's this? This is from a certain respected builder who works for a certain cousin of yours who's willing to say what a great fellow you are and how you've knocked your pan in for the past ten years, carrying a hod, paying your stamps. And this is a phone number of a certain fella who sets up mortgages for people who normally don't get mortgages, like you and me. And all you need from him is this letter. Are you serious? Wardrobe, have you any idea how many houses I have? Four. Five. Twelve. Can you get me one? If he can get me one for 180 grand, I have a funny feeling he can get you one for five. Manuel, son, you are a legend. Ah, huh? stall a ball. Before I give you this, I have another wee job for you. <laughs> So what's this payway for, eh? Look, this one is a real cracker. Oh, it sounds bad already. Dara, Dara, you know the crack at our man you'll get married? Yeah. He's marrying this real posh bird up in the Malone Road. Look at him. That's not the best of it. Yeah. They're having this really big, swanky do. After that, away they go to Barbados for a week. Very nice. Yeah. Any chance of getting a drink here? No, you know the crack at our man you'll. Pulls a few moves himself. He's a shrewd monkey. But he reckons, because of all her relations and all that, they are going to touch big time with presents. Shh, shh. Cheers. Good luck. Take it to the table, lads. Ah, right, so, the crack is, while he's in Barbados, he wants us to break into his house, lift the pluck, plonk it down somewhere and he returns. He comes home, reports it to the police, stolen, gets a huge claim on the insurance. Break in, like? Well, it's not breaking in, breaking in. 
It's breaking in with the owner's consent. Still breaking in. Here, I tell you what, we we'll get Hogarth to don't. Jesus Christ, that was only saying. See the best thing about this, though, lads. See if we do this move right. He knows someone who can sort me out with a mortgage from my ma's house. Hey, like he said, guy's a shrewd monkey. Now, hold on just one wee minute, Wardrobe. Does that mean we're doing all this for nothing? No, 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 he'll give you a few quid. My cut's the mortgage. So when's the move? Tonight, after the wedding. Some gaff, man. Go up the edge. Now, Manuel said he's going to leave the gate open. He wants us to break in through the side door, right? We go in, cool as a breeze, lift the heat, easy peasy, Japanesey. I get my mortgage, you get your cash. Happy days are here. Hey, Sarah, Sarah, whatever will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. Hey, Sarah, Sarah, what will be, will be. When I grew up and fell in love, I asked my sweetheart what lies ahead. Will there be rainbows day after day? Here's what my sweetheart said. Okay, Sarah. Oh, Sarah. <laughs> oh. Tell you what, it's a some job, huh? It's a long way up the Falls Road, man, you. Yeah, you can take the boy out of the Falls Road, but, but you, you can't, can't take the, the Falls Road, road out, out of the boy. boy. Yeah, mm. bull. Here, you all set? Hey. Oh, I got the edge. Yeah. Nothing in here takes your fancy. Word of I mean, you could do no wrong here. All double barrel names, talking about marbles in their grubs. That's all. They're all false. <laughs> From their teeth to their teeth. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's only one wee woman in this room for me, Manuel. My ma. <laughs> Manuel! Come here now and meet Aunt Sarah and Uncle Eric. Who? The real estate people. Oh, I have to go. By the way, son, congratulations. Be away up with the young one. Not at all, Mammy. Should they be only after me for my money? Anyway, I've got my body. You're a desperate man. Well, now I'd want to be, wouldn't I? Dancing here with you. <laughs> Remember back when love first found us? It up. Well, what other ways of a thaw brick? You could have just tapped it like. Monkey, all right. You can say that again. Now let's go. What's that, us? That's it. Buy the kitchen sink and the light bulbs. Just the edge. Some 
Så nej, så er jeg nogen Åh, fuck i dag! Sæt dig lot? Ja. Ja, grab that shirt or something. Ach, long time no see. Tell him. So, uh, this friend of yours? Acquaintance. This acquaintance? He wants to meet? He needs a squad for some odd jobs. When did he suggest it, I thought of yourself. Considering your jack of all trades, master of none. Nah, I wouldn't say that. Well, what would you say? I, uh, would say, let me check our diary and I'll see what I can do. So next week? Should be signed. There you go. Guard it with my life. Where are you going? Aiden and I are taking him to Porta Ferry to the aquarium. That's all I hear, Aiden. I'll take him. You don't have a car. The wardrobe will take me. It's all arranged. We promised. Well, what about me? When do I get to see him? I reckon next week is all right. Oh, well, you reckon, do you? Do you want to know what I reckon? I reckon you're full of shit. That's what I reckon. Well, at least we got next week's wages sorted out, courtesy of Dara. Oh, here. Are you knocking her off or what? Do <laughs> you ever think of giving on couple years of rest? Do you and the rest of us a favour? Jesus, wrong city of bed or what? No call there. Right, we'll just leave him. It's me's got to go home and share a bed with him. Uh, well, Harry Hole, how was Barbados? Ah, it's manual. One word. Tantastic. Great weather, great drinks. Mm. Great girl. Oh, sweet, sweet as a nut. Listen, that other effort. Take it, boo. Piece of piss, manual. Piece of piss. So all the McClatchy sweet? Aye, we buns. We buns all day long. Look, I'll talk to you later. Bye. What's a McClatchy? It's a... Uh, it's an effort. Jesus. Jesus. Bastards. They're dead. Who is? Well, whoever. Jesus. There must have been ten grand's worth of pluck here. At least! Lads, we have to get that back. No one's gonna fucking believe this. Our stolen gear was stolen, I mean, not even blood! I told you, it was a bad move breaking in. You get no luck, wardrobe. Do you listen to the old women? So what are we gonna do? Who would know? <sighs> you know who? Oh, come here. Oh, fuck face. Where's our pluck? Say what you mean now, wardrobe. Ah, hooker, what about you? Nice fan you got. Hey, hey! Wardrobe, wardrobe! Leave it! Wardrobe! Calm down! What's the story of all the hyperness here? 
And where'd you steal that? Never mind the van. It's a cracker, isn't it? You fit a house in the back of it. Hooker, we knew the little hip where a load of gear is here. What type of gear? Dear gear. Like? Like a DVD player, a camcorder, a fridge freezer, a widescreen TV. So you say. But keep my ears pinned. You know, I will wipe that smile off your face. So that very smell. handy. Oh. You're always a funny fella, aren't you? Would you get out the car? It's always you who's coming to me for help, never the other way around. Help? You don't know the meaning of the word. I'm offering help here. We are not. What do you mean is how much, don't you? You said. Oh, there's a surprise. You tell us. Oh, that's a great idea. If I get this gear back, no questions asked, right? But saying it's so dear, I want a grand. Hey, 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 come on, come on, man. Fucking one punch, Come on, hit him. Fucking one punch. gear back. And then you can do whatever you want to. Let me tell you. Uh, right. Wedge screen TV, top of the lens, tumble dryer, washing machine, microwave, big ceramic elephant, the dad loves elephants, John Wayne DVD collection, little house on the prairie DVD collection, Charles MC, and he goes, I go, look at, I'm like this, the big, you know the big fat box with the grill thing when it comes out, the, uh, and you're gonna join me? Okay, look, look at the state of my wife, this is ridiculous. Is everything okay? Did you find anything yet? This. You had his heart set in that mortgage. I had my heart set in a few quid. You know something's not right when he's not grubbing. All day long. Now here we could all done with a few quid, lad, but... But what are you saying, Pat? Sometimes some people need other things more importantly than a few quid, do you know what I mean? Well, that. Gentlemen, what's wrong? Oh, Christ, you got a queer car, Emmanuel, huh? Must have been great weather. It was, but not as great as the ten grand I'm going to get for having all my stuff stolen. <laughs> the cops were around today. The assessors are coming out tomorrow. So after that, you can give me back the pluck, all right? And I can give you gentlemen your coin and you your mortgage. <laughs> hey, we buns are what? We buns, Emmanuel. <laughs> We bones my plums. Well, there's good news and bad news. Who had it? Remember, no questions asked. Wardrobe, you were told. These men. And these men. Do we know him? Them. And again, did you forget my no questions asked? What, you're still sticking to that story? Like shit, you blanket. So where's the gear? The good news is I can get it. But the bad news is it's going to cost more than I thought. Well, I'll double tell you. They want 500 boulders. Uh, you take it out of the ground we gave you. Oh, no, nah, wardrobe, that's not business. Hooker, do us a turn, just this once. I am. So I need 1,500 quid up front. Fuck away off. That means we've done all this for fuck all. Hey, it won't be for fuck all. 1,500 quid, Hooker? You know what? You're a real wankbox, Hooker. <laughs> right then. You get us the gear. Every last bit of it. Guaranteed. Then you'll get your coin. How do I know you won't stroke me? Because we're not like you, that's why. It's in the van. What? Jesus. Fucking legend. Good man. Yeah, for you. Oh, it always is. I hope you lose every penny of that. Always the begrudger wardrobe. Lads used to think he'd be better off at some other game. He don't seem to have much luck pulling these moves. Well, one of these days we will. Sure, smell is about. 
Some lads, by the way. I'm sorry, but you not get nothing at all. Well, it was hardly for a lost cause. Exactly. Can you get your man's house? Aye, but but nothing. Nah. Hurry up before this mortgage joint closes. Well, I don't know what you've done, but you've done it. Bank details. Employment records, two years accounts, guarantor, all in hand. So have I got it or what? No reason not to. No reason. Thank you very much. Oh, bless you, bless you. Sorry. Sorry. You are a Thank beautiful you. woman, a person, lady. You are an abs. You know, you say it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Thank you! I'm not like a mortgage. Wait, me. Look at the fucking state of me. A mortgage. <laughs> Here you are. Happy birthday, Ma. Son, you shouldn't have. Not at all. <laughs> Here, here's a way something for you. Oh. Give me them. Oh. oh, that's beautiful. Nice, isn't it? Oh. What's my key doing in the car? That's the key to your house. What do you mean, son? Now, for the past 42 years, you have rented this house. It's never actually been your house. That is, until now. But how? <laughs> you never mind how. Happy birthday, man. Oh, oh son. You know what I mean? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I smell a wee bit of fermented bacon in there. Oh, you might. You will not. <laughs> <laughs> And Pulling Moves returns next Monday at the slightly later time of 5 past 11.